The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Squadron at the top, and the squadron's going to slip out and do some TV work. Um, but, and please wait for our interpreter. Hello. Hello, Yes. Uh, good evening. We're going to start the press conference. Good evening. We're going to start the press conference. Please, 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 to me? Yes, please. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just wonder whether you've seen the. Um, I mean, obviously, you've got a great advantage from the first leg. It could be easy to see it as, as, as something that, that, that might be straightforward. But I don't know whether you saw the, the, the class line result last night. Should that serve some sort of warning that, that of course, you could never take in again? I think it. I think it came in the perfect timing for us um, to see that. Um, yeah, it's it's football. You you're never you're never safe, especially when you when you uh, win uh, at home and then you have the away game. You have to be very careful how you. Um, you have to be uh, very careful how you um, show up. And um, yeah, I think the game uh, that we saw uh, yesterday uh, was just uh, perfect timing for us to to uh, to show us that we have to be really focused and really concentrated on uh, to to uh, finish off the the job that we did in the first leg. Can, can I just follow that up? Yeah. Can I just follow that up? Yeah. 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 И в связи с этим у Арсенала 4-1, то есть такое же преимущество, ну, не расслабил ли это Арсенал, вернее, ну, вернее, не расслабил ли это Арсенал. В общем, ответ следующий. Для нас это было очень хорошим уроком увидеть его в нужное время, в нужном месте оказаться, поскольку в Барселоне не хватило ставаться средоточенными. То есть в Барселоне нужно было ставаться средоточенными. И мы извлекли вчерашние игры уроков, мы будем средоточенными. Can I just ask, did you, did you watch it and did it shock you? Did it Barcelona after? I did watch it, yeah. Um, I thought uh, Roma did a brilliant job. Um, and it's not easy when you lose the first game for one uh, away to... Um, especially against Barcelona, who is a team that always can score. And you know you have to win uh, not conceding and scoring three goals. Um, so, uh, yeah. I think they did a brilliant job and I watched the game, but it's nothing that surprises me because uh, now I've been a few years uh, in the professional football and, and I know that this happens uh, often, so we have to make sure that's not going to happen to us tomorrow. Не всяких сомнений, мы постараемся извлечь этого пользу и не допустить того же, что сделал Барселон. Well, yeah, uh, with Germany, we have a we have a big squad, a lot of players to choose for the for the um, for the coach, and obviously everyone has to has to fight for his place, and uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm um, I'm going to use the the games that that uh, we have in Premier League and in Europa League to um, yeah to to get to get my my place, and uh, in the end, it's going to be a decision of the. Of the uh, coach, um, but all all I can uh, all I can do is um, yeah do my work at uh, on the pitch, and then uh, we will see in the end if, if I'm going to be nominated or not. Uh, 
я стараюсь это делать в рамках пример Лиги, то же самое я стараюсь делать в рамках Лиги Европы, поскольку в Германии очень большая выборка игроков, состав очень сильный, и мне необходимо доказывать свое место в сборной. I watched the other game, <laughs> so well, I watched uh, only uh, the last part, that's the, word, you know. the last part of it. You know, it's uh, the typical game where uh, they wanted to protect their advantage and uh, I felt that uh, Chelsea already against Barcelona was a bit unlucky and could have gone through as well. It can happen in the game. That's why we love football, it's not predictable. And uh, uh, that's why these nights are interesting as well, because every, in every game everything is questioned again. It's a new start every time. The question was the next one. In the case of Barcelona, what was the problem of Barcelona? What was the main mistake in the game, which was the game? Answer. Вы знаете, футбол это очень непредсказуемый вид спорта, именно поэтому мы его любим. К сожалению, я не видел все игры, я видел лишь последнюю часть, но не хватило увиденного, чтобы понять, что, что необходимо оставаться концентрированным. Знаете, это типичная игра. То же самое было в матче Челси Барселона. Челси немного не повезло. Мы будем оставаться концентрированными и продолжим делать все, что в наших силах. Uh, yeah, Arsen, um, in the first leg, Seis was only scored by Alexander Golovin. Uh, how much did his performance in London impress you? His performances are very good. And he's a regular player in the Russian national team, so that means he's a, a very strong player, you know. Uh, in fact, uh, when you look at uh, CSK, they have uh, two regular players in midfield who play for Russia, with Zagoyev and Golovin, who are two great players. So they have uh, the best midfield in the country, certainly in Russia. Вопрос. Как вы бы оценили игру Александра Головина? Вас наверняка впечатлил его штрафной удар и забитый гол. Ответ. Вы знаете, у ЦСКА очень сильные полузащитники. Пожалуй, самые сильные русские полузащитники. Загоев, Головин. Без всяких сомнений, он подтвердил свой класс. Это игрок хорошего уровня. Так. Uh, Arsen, question from Russia, uh, in English, okay? So, so can you say, please, uh, does your future depend on Europa League results? Europa League is important for us, everybody knows that, and uh, we are at the stage where, of course, we focus on it, because in the Premier League we have very, uh, very, very, very slim chance to get further up, but uh, the Europa League is, of course, uh, one of the big targets of the season now. Вопрос. Арсен, ваше будущее зависит от Лиги Европы, от результатов, показанных Лиги Европы. Ответ. Вы знаете, для нас Лига Европы – это первостепенная задача в этом сезоне, поскольку в чемпионате, в премьер Лиги, наши шансы не слишком великие, будем откровенны. Арсен, you were the third British club to, to play in Russia with the, the tensions, political tensions oh, yeah, yeah. between two countries. Um, are, you, are, are you satisfied? Are you, are, are you happy that the players and, and supporters and staff are, are completely safe? Yeah, well, uh, it's always, uh, as I told you, I think uh, on that front there uh, will be no problem. We have been uh, well uh, welcome here and uh, we had no problems to come here, and I don't think that they will affect the game. And uh, as well, we are not really informed what's right and what's wrong, so it's best for us to stay out of that. Вопрос, скажите, напряжение между Британией и Россией в дипломатических отношениях беспокоит ли вас данное напряжение, беспокоитесь ли вы о вашей безопасности? Ответ. Я не думаю, что это повлияет ли образом на игру и на нашу безопасность. Без всяких сомнений мы находимся в безопасности.
not, not totally unconnected with that, but with the World Cup here in a couple of months' time, and with England fans and Russian fans not exactly best buddies, how much tomorrow night, however few Arsenal fans come, how much tomorrow does, does the game have to pass off peacefully away from the football pitch? Well, I don't think there will be a problem. You had many Russian fans in London, there was no problem, you know. Why should it be different here? Uh, I, I don't think that uh, will be a problem. И все же расскажите, вас это не беспокоит ответ. Не всяких сомнений, российские болельщики, которые пребывают в Великобритании, не чувствуют никакого напряжения. Почему мы должны об этом беспокоиться? I believe that uh, we live in the real world and in the real world we are in the quarter final and uh, it's a long way to go to the final. We have to do the job tomorrow night and try to win the game. We have some players who are not here. We have lost Xhaka today who is not here uh, for flu. And uh, I think uh, it's for us vital. Uh, we talk about the example at, uh, last night, is that we focus on the performance tomorrow. After, if Moscow is better than us, well done to them. But we have to turn up with a strong performance. His improvement for you, like how good has he? Now he's getting. He has, uh, you notice that uh, he had a problem at his knee and that it affected his performances. You see straight away that he's a different player since he had his, uh, his surgery. Uh, в первом круге вы показали феноменальную игру. Наверное, финал для вас будет следующий финал, для вас будет нечто чем-то невероятным. Матвей, мы живем в реальном мире, и сейчас находимся всего лишь в четверть финале. Чтобы пройти в полуфинал, в финал, нужно показать превосходную игру. Знаете, у нас многие игроки были были строить. Например, Джак, он болеет. Необходимо сконцентрироваться и показать наше лучшее, все наше лучшее. And so you've got a great advantage in the first leg, so does it mean that uh, tomorrow some players will have rest? And what, uh, do you know exactly what players are going to play in the place? Yes, we have uh, an advantage, and uh, the best way to build on the advantage is to, to try to win the game. And, uh, we will play with our best possible team and uh, we'll have positive attitude and try to win the game tomorrow. <laughs> Arsenal, just to bring it back to the, the Barcelona result last night, but to relate it directly to your situation, because you've got such a healthy lead, how do you, um, how will you guard against any complacency? We are in a position where I don't think we are under threat of complacency. Uh, we know it's an important target for us to go as far as possible. And uh, as you said the last night, this may be a good warning for us. And uh, let's be uh, uh, not go overboard as well. Yes, we have still a big job to do, but as well uh, we are in a strong position, and it's how we approach the game that uh, will be vital tomorrow. You know. Also, um, you've said that in terms of the political tensions, it's, you want to stay stay out of this, but I was wondering with Arsenal being here this week with the World Cup just 60 days away, and with everyone worried, I guess, about the tensions between Russia and the West, do you feel there's a role that football that sport can play at this time? Sport can always play a positive role in, uh, in uh, life and in uh, between uh, countries as well. 
and uh, that's why football is a good opportunity always to facilitate relations and uh, I'm convinced that uh, tomorrow night will be absolutely normal and the World Cup will be perfectly well organized I have no problem about that and uh, uh, but of sport, uh, maybe sport will have uh, even a more active role during this period than, uh, than ever. Вопрос. Арсен, мы сказали, что вы хотели бы оставаться uh, вне событий дипломатических, uh, дипломатической жизни. Вы хотели бы остаться вне данного напряжения между Британией и Россией. Однако удастся ли вам это ответ? Знаете, спорт всегда может играть и должен играть uh, особую роль в отлаживании отношений, в дипломатических отношений в том числе. А потом позволяет успоко... спорт позволяет успокоить отношения. Я уверен, что в России пойдет отличный чемпионат мира. Last one, Jason. We talked earlier in the season about the teams away form being, being a problem. You won in Osterson, you obviously won at Milan as well. Particularly with that Milan result, how confident are you in those issues that are behind you? Well, Milan is a good example for us to have a similar attitude, but uh, the difference is that uh, psychologically uh, it was the first game. And uh, that's why maybe we have to overcome a little bit the hurdle and think not uh, just we have to protect what we have built in the first game, but maybe have a similar attitude to Milan and uh, be very positive from a start on. Look at the games last night. You know, uh, teams who were in trouble is that uh, they conceded early. And uh, after that, of course, it gives hope to the team. And uh, that's why it's very important we have a positive start tomorrow. Вопрос. Вы уже сыграли в рамках плей-офф с Эстерсундом, с Миландом. Скажите, какой у вас подход, какой на настрой к этой игре? Будет ли он таким же, как он был в предыдущем матче? Как ответ? Есть всякие сомнения психологически, мы должны расстраиваться на победу, мы не должны расслабляться и должны придерживаться того же подхода, который мы, которого мы придерживались в Милане. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.